welcome to week 14 of the leopard frog tadpole to frog experiment. Two of our leopard frog tadpoles have legs. Yay for legs. So we ordered these from naturegifts.com on January 27th. And so we've had these tadpoles for 14 weeks now. And it, um, I didn't think it was going to take this long, but you can see there's our, one of our tadpoles has pretty big back legs, much bigger than the week 12 video that we did last. And our other tadpole in the same, our, the other tadpole in the same tank finally has small back legs. They're harder to see from this angle. And uh, we have two different tanks. Each one has two tadpoles in it. Uh, there's, you got a good view of the, the legs right there. There's our frog that has the biggest legs swimming around our tadpole with the biggest legs. Go shut the door. Um, and here he is swimming, swimming, swimming. Well, I have no idea if it's a he or a she. We have two tanks. This tank has is a one gallon fish tank with a filter. And this is the tank, the Nature Gifts people say that you don't need a filter, but this tank, both tadpoles finally have legs. This is the tank that we ordered from naturegifts.com. The one that they recommend looks like this. It's two gallons and um, no filter. And these tadpoles still don't have legs yet. Uh, they were ordered the same time and we received them the same time. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. But that is uh, how it's turned out in our case. I'm going to let Rowan here give our tadpoles some food to see if we can get them to uh, swim around a little bit for you. We just cleaned this tank a few minutes ago. Pull that open. Open the bag. This is the tadpole food that comes with the tadpoles. Get out about four pieces, Rowan. You don't have to count them, just a pinch full. There's one piece, and he's going to put those in, and sometimes that makes the tadpoles swim around a little bit. They don't usually, drop it in, they don't usually eat it right away. They wait until it dissolves and then kind of eat it in tiny bits once it goes to the bottom, but um, sometimes it'll make them move around. Apparently not today. And then Rowan, if you'll get that much and put it in this other tank as well, that would be great. There's their food. And there's the one in the front. You, from this angle, you can't even really see its legs. It's the other one that has the really big legs that you saw at the first there. But there are two tadpoles in this tank. And there's one of the ones in this tank. But the, the tank that came, put a little more in that one. Two more pieces. The one, the tank that came with the tadpoles, those are the ones that don't have legs yet, so maybe just a coincidence, but interesting comparison. There are the tadpoles that do have legs, and they are opening and closing their mouths. <laughs> they do that a lot, kind of burrow down in the corners. There you can see the one's bigger legs really good. They still like to get up there by that filter. They've been doing that ever since we first got them. Now they're almost too big to fit between there, but he can still make it. And that's a good view of his legs there. You can see they look like frog legs, but he still has his long tail. Um, in the brochure, it tells us that once they get front legs, we will need to put in, take about half the water out and also include a log or some kind of dry land where they can get out above the water and because the, once they have front legs, they'll start to develop lungs as well. Here, this guy was swimming around, but of course, once I moved over there, he stopped. There's the other one that has, just has those really small legs. They're really hard to see from this angle. But there you can kind of see the small legs on this one. Um, kind of right there, sticking out from the side. And there he is, opening and closing his mouth too. Now swimming around like crazy and they do go up to the top a lot now and they also um the nature's gift brochure also said to put these plants in here because they need a place to be able to rest halfway in the water so they don't have to constantly move or always be on the bottom i'm not sure exactly why that is but they do like to rest on those plants a lot 
Here you can see the food that Rowan just put in is starting to dissolve. And that's when they'll come and eat it is once it's dissolved and falls to the bottom. Part of why you have to change the water so often. Uh, Nature Gifts recommends that you change the water every seven days. I've probably done it about every 10 days. Their brochure actually says that not changing the water often enough can make them develop uh, more slowly and or not ever fully develop. This guy over here is moving his legs around a while, trying to get a good angle of him so you can see his big legs moving around while he swims. So if you've been watching 